everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with my good old pal, Jolene. Hello! <laughs> good to see you again! Oh, it's it's been a hot minute since we've, since we've done one of these. Yeah, when did we read Zoro? <laughs> yeah, I, you, I could not tell you. Yeah, I know when it's scheduled, but I, <laughs> I have no idea what we recorded. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, I'm... That's one of those things, like, we have to go through the chat and whatnot and figure out. But... And we'll talk about Sora another day. We're on a- This is a brand new fandom that we have not read yet. I almost said, like, brand new fandom. Like, this hasn't been out for, like... Yeah. Like, 35 years. <laughs> yeah, um... So, a very popular ship... Is it popular? Like, how popular is this like shit? I feel like it's popular. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say it's start. popular, like... I don't know. But, you know, the art's really good. Yeah. So, so um... Instead of reading, like, a normal ship... Under hey, what do you these, mean, normal ship? I don't know, I just didn't... This, I don't know, does it qualify as a crack ship? No, well, no. Okay. Because, personally... I've always- I've always known crack ships as, like, two characters who have never interacted. Oh, uh, okay, that's what they're qualified. Okay. That's, uh, that's just me, though. This is a, a nice little enemies-to-lovers situation. Well, we in... don't know that. How do we know? I is mean, it? just in the lore of Mario. <laughs> oh. It's- it's Luigi, the good guy, and then Bowser, the bad guy, where they- they come together, and they fall in love. Hopefully. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you, you picked out the book this time. Or... I did. I just, you know, I saw it. I liked, I, I read, like, a snippet, and I was like, this is fine. I can do this. I like the premise. I like the plot. Yeah. <laughs> I read it for the plot. <laughs> Alright, this one is called Love in, in the Oddest Places. By Luigi. <laughs> Uh, oh, Bal Luigi, sorry, sorry, it's cut off, but I read in the, what do they call, the URL? I think that's what, yeah, it's the URL. Anyway. You're so smart. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I, that's me and my computer science uh, knowledge right there. Wow. Yeah, I got a computer science boyfriend. I know a lot now. <laughs> and you got a boyfriend, a yeah. husband. Yeah, I got both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's the same person. <laughs> A fiance. Yeah, all three at the same time. <laughs> Alright, well, this one is still going. Updated recently. Celebrating a year of writing this, so... You gotta admire the, uh, de the dedication. <laughs> so, this one, uh, according to the description reads, Luigi and Mario are simply going to do a simple job. Setting up a factory, probably. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bombing system, get paid, and go home. What happened next was unimaginable. Curiosity led them to fall into a mysterious world and land in the middle of a villain's plot for world domination. The brothers never thought that of becoming heroes, and for Luigi, he didn't expect to fall for, for the very being he was meant to hate. Oh boy. What trouble does his heart- has his heart gotten Luigi into? Cross- cross, uh, uploaded on AO3, so... Which, uh, you- you do swear by, so... <laughs> I do, I do. It is- it's a little easier for me to navigate. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because I'm old, but... <laughs> You're not that old. You're like 22, right? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so old! What do you mean old? <laughs> we went to the same high school, man! We're not- you're not that old! Dude, I'm only- I'm less than two months older. <laughs> what do you mean, 22? I forgot, I'm sorry. Wow. I forgot my own age wow. for a moment. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, just- them just built different- oh my god. What? Sorry, I was David again. <laughs> Not David. <laughs> Fucking David. I'm talking about David, David on live David, stream. if you're watching this, 
I we appreciate the offer. I don't. <laughs> on, no, on behalf of Phoenix Blair, uh, we appreciate the offer, but we'll have to decline at this time. I don't like people soliciting to me in my DMs, right? <laughs> That's not what my DMs are for. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna read this wonderful fic. Start reading. Chapter one. Take it prisoner. I'm assuming this is like the Mario movie. Like they saw the trailer and they and they got inspired and whatnot. Hasn't this how old how old is this? It came up well the first chapter was written in December of last year. Oh, and I 20. think the Mario movie came out like the full one came out during March of uh this year. Maybe. I mean okay. I think the trailer was we, out by then for Mario. We'll be will we be flipping a coin? Uh, or yeah. should I just start? I am uh I could flip this mochi bubble milk tea box. <laughs> mochi bubble you know what, yeah. Alright, so you wanna be the part that says mochi bubble milk tea? Or do you wanna be all the nutrition facts in multiple languages? I wanna be the mul the nutrition facts in multiple languages. Alright, re get ready to hear the thud from this. Please. All right, nutrition so facts. Yay! <laughs> I love being the nutrition facts. Can't say that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, what? No, no, worry about it, man. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, I'm, concerned. I'm concerned for your well-being. Anyway, uh, I'm glad someone is. <laughs> <gasps> what? I, we're not even gonna go into that. <laughs> oh my god. The <laughs> roared around him. The Koopa army cackled and roared around Luigi, shaking their weapons. Blue magic swirled between them. The arena was scorching with heat as the lava pool bubbled in the distance. Luigi whimpered as he was pulled along by the guard. Sorry. What was that? <laughs> so you can't even hear the word whimpered? <laughs> Sorry. Like, wow. there's a lot going on the internet at this moment when we're recording. That, like wow. the, the dream stuff's going wow. down and the the audios uh, have been uh, going uh, down <laughs> so that my brain heard that word and I was like no <laughs> the war it's okay, it's okay. You, you'll get through it you'll get through it I swear <laughs> well, no let's get through this <laughs> we can do it can I'm do really it I'm actually really excited for this fic okay I'm sorry I cracked so easy. <laughs> Luigi whimpered as he was pulled along by the guards, these short creatures wearing red cloaks and white masks. He felt like he was in a gladiator arena. The army gathered in a massive circle around him, and the king's throne sat at the end. It was a massive pillar of obsidian, with scarlet red banners hanging from each side. A yank on his chain forced Luigi to look up. The human choked back a scream. There he was. The Koopa King sat on his throne, crimson eyes, crimson eyes staring intently at him. Luigi's mind struggled to comprehend the sight. A towering figure of pure muscle protected by a green spike shell. Razor sharp claws. Bangs glimmered in his draconic muzzle. Flaming red hair spouted from the king's head, neatly swept back between a set of horns. Luigi audibly gulped, feeling his skin crawl. If he could, he would be moving away from the massive Koopa's gaze. The cloak guards pulled him until he was mere feet away from their leader, leader causing the already frenzied crowd to become even more unruly. Silence. The king's booming voice instantaneously stopped the chaos around them. The Koopas and other creatures stood up straight, their weapons in the air as a salute. Luigi was both terrified and impressed at this. After all, what kind of king would have such a hold on his people that they would stand at attention with such fluidity? Not even the military back home could boast such a feat. Luigi tried to control his trembling, but it was useless. The dragon-like Koopa huffed, almost as if he was bored, then slid off his throne. The ground softly shook with each step. Thump. 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 Luigi could not even tell if the sound was from his heart racing or the beast's footsteps. What has he gotten himself into? One minute he was home in Brooklyn, going about a day's work, and the next he was running for his life through a fiery landscape as he was being chased by skeletons. Luigi did not, did not even stop to hesitate when he broke into that castle, did not stop to think of whom may, it may belong to, and now he was paying the price. All he could hope for is that his brother would come for him. A sudden blast of heat started, startled Luigi from his thoughts. Visibly trembling, he locked eyes with the frightening Koopa King. 
Never in his life has he felt so small. The powerful king has to be almost eight feet tall, a mountain of shimmering yellow scales decorated with black spiked accessories. The guard beside him saluted. King Bowser, we caught this intruder in the West Wing. His resemblance is uncanny to that human in the Mushroom Kingdom. A growl escaped the king. Does he now? Luigi gulped again. Maybe he should say something. Perhaps he should finesse his way out of the situation, or at least escape the lava pit that was surely waiting for, him. waiting for him. Honestly, Luigi had no idea what he got himself into. All this kingdom drama was giving him a massive headache. I wouldn't be daydreaming if I was you now. Luigi yelped and took a step back, startled by the fact he was being addressed directly. The man in green mumbled something incoherent, causing the king to raise a bushy eyebrow. He raised a finger and lifted his, lifted his chin with a claw finger. I'm not sure if you know who I am, he said, but I'm about to rule the world. Luigi chuckled nervously. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Yay! The invisible force lifted him upwards. The claw between, beneath his chin, chin dug deeper into his skin. Bowser slowly moved his hand away, his knuckles rubbing against Luigi's cheek before grabbing the end of his mustache gingerly. But there's one problem. There's a human has a mustache. Just like you. He growled, pulling ever so slightly. Luigi flinched. You think I know every single human being that has a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? Man, this is just like for the movie. <laughs> I've never seen the Mario movie. You have. Dude, anyway. as soon as it's coming on Netflix, we're adding it to movie night. We'll see if I make it. Yeah, you can't fall asleep on movie night, man. But it's on a Thursday and I'm so tired. <laughs> the club going up on a Thursday, man! <laughs> I sleep. Uh, Bowser glared at him, smoke billowing from his nostrils, and his eyes looked nothing looked like nothing but red pinpoints. Luigi looked up at him looked at him up and down. Because I don't Bowser scowled. Luigi could kiss his beloved stash goodbye. His ears were ringing, his heart was in his throat. The king's glare was relentless. Luigi squeezed his eyes shut, biting back a scream and waiting for the pain to come, and then the king chuckled. You're one loyal bastard, I'll give you that, he said. Luigi opened one eye. Pardon? Bowser let him go, unceremoniously dropping him to the ground. Luigi yelped, his vision spinning. A few of the ranks snickered, causing his face to redden. Bowser crossed his arms. Kamek! A Koopa in blue robes appeared beside him in a cloud of smoke, their eyes shielded by a pair of large, round glasses. A scepter with a ruby stone grasped in his claws. Kamek looked up at the king. Yes, your maliciousness, he said. Bowser nodded at Luigi. I need a word with you, he said. Guards, take Greeny to his cell. He'll serve as bait to so-called hero. Luigi yelped as he was forced to his feet. The guards rechecked his restraints, then ordered him to stand up. The cruel army cackled and howled, rejoicing in his misery. Luigi daringly glanced over his shoulder, and then quickly looked away as he noticed Bowser's smug look. As the prisoner was taken away, Kamek leaned on his scepter. Sire, why not dispose of this human now? It would be more devastating to the hero. Crush his spirit, he said. Hmm. Tempting, but no. I will find this one amusing. Oh, I find this one amusing, said, replied Bowser. World domination wouldn't be as fun without a show. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> so I love that, like, I'm in, like, for Bowser's lines and whatnot, I'm imagining Jack Black doing it because, like, that in the movie, that that's who plays him and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, it fits. It fits. <laughs> if you told me this was straight from the movie, and I would have believed you if I didn't see it myself. <laughs> you know what? This is my movie. <laughs> Forget the actual Mario. <laughs> this is my Mario. <laughs> this is your Ratatouille. <laughs> Where's the co- where's the coffee account? Where's the what? Uh, like a coffee? Like a coffee? Have you heard of like, uh, you normally- it's almost like giving a tip. Oh, that's right. I- I was like a coffee. A coffee? I don't know what it is. It's like K-O-F-I, but anyway. Oh. Huh. The guards- <laughs> yeah. The more you know. <laughs> the guards roughly threw him into a cell, causing him to trip. 
Luigi narrowly caught himself. The cell door slammed shut behind him. The sound echoed through the dungeon halls. The guards bumped their fists and walked away. Luigi straightened his cap and sighed. At least it was cooler in the dungeon. Bowser's oppressive look could not reach him down here. His head was still hurting. Luigi struggled to understand how this could happen. It was terrifying. He could not reach his brothers. And now, he was trapped in a lava kingdom. Because of course, this had to happen to him during a huge job. Luigi pulled down his cap and groaned, then paced around. Okay, maybe he could find something that could help him. Those guards looked away, took away his plumber set, leaving him totally defenseless. If he could have a desert tool or some form of weapon, Luigi would feel a lot better. The cell looked like something out of a fantasy book with a pebble floor and thick iron bars. Luigi's bed was a gray cot with no pillows or blankets. There were no windows. The only exit was was where he was pushed through, and frankly, the whole place felt claustrophobic. Luigi groaned again, then sat on his cot with his face in his hands. He hated feeling this helpless. With his brother, the two would always be helping around the neighborhood and just be making sure everyone was okay. There, Luigi would constant, was constantly doing something, but now he was trapped. Luigi crossing his arms and leaned against the wall. I didn't even do anything. What was I supposed to do? Get mauled by skeletons? Fall into a fire pit? He said to himself. Aren't kings supposed to be fair and impartial? Not Bowser, though. <laughs> and started pacing again. For a ruler, Bar Bowser sure was unfair. Yes, Luigi did break into his castle. But he had no ill intentions. And who leaves the castle door unlocked anyway? And, and and why was he... Why was he after his brother? Mario and Luigi have not been here a day. How on earth did they make an... How on earth did they already make an enemy? This world was strange, and Luigi did not like it. Well, sort of. While he was essentially flying through air, he got a glimpse of the new world he finds, he finds himself in. And Luigi found the place breathtaking. He had never seen such blue skies before. The natural landscape looked so healthy, it brought tears to his eyes. Luigi was not going to be, not gonna lie, he liked this kind of, he liked the place. It's just the fact that he had the misfortune of falling into an undesirable part of it that was the problem. Luigi grabbed under the bars and frowned. Hopefully his brother would arrive in time, and he could see those beautiful blue skies again. Mario, you should eat something. The red plumber looked up, rubbing his gloved hands. Slightly. Princess Peach. Why did I say it like that? Hold up. <laughs> let me let me restart that. I was trying to <laughs> like Peach. <laughs> Prince Peach. I'm sorry. My brain's not Princess Peachified enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I do that? Dear Mario, <laughs> tell Luigi he owes me twenty bucks from Peach. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did she charge three hundred percent interest? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Oh my god! That's how she got her fortune, man! Oh god. Mario, you should eat something. The Red Plumber looked up, rubbing his gloved hands slightly. Princess Peach stood next to him, offering him a, offering a steaming bowl of stew. Her sapphire eyes glimmered. Mario reluctantly took it and couldn't bring himself to take a bite. Peach folded her, folded her skirt, then sat beside him. Are you worried about your brother? She asked. Mario sighed. I'm worried about a lot of things, Peach. Luigi, you, the kingdom. Peach fiddled with the grass. I wish you would have landed here on better terms, she responded. Here you are, the first otherworldly visitors that we've had. We've had and you must feel and you must deal with an invasion. Mario shrugged and ate a spoonful, chewing, chewing slowly. It has been four days since they landed in the Mushroom Kingdom. So much has happened in these past few days it has made his head spin. Mario has met so many strange people and traversed mind-blowing locations. He could write his own book. He battled countless enemies and cemented his name as the Mushroom Kingdom's hero. But Mario, Mario didn't care about that. Honestly, he just wanted to be strong enough to save his baby brother. His friendship with Peach and Toad was a bonus, and exploring this beautiful world was fantastic. But he wanted Luigi to be by his side. He had to be so scared. Mario glanced at the dark floating castle on the horizon. His brother was somewhere in there. And if all Peach told him was true, Bowser would not be a friendly host. Okay, hold up. I gotta... 
What are your thoughts so far? Because I love it. I need to take a breather because we're only halfway through this chapter. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, landing on a bear. We're oh. landing on a chair. Okay. Whew. Dude, I like this so far. Honestly, really the way good. you well written it is and whatnot with the detail, if I never saw the Mario movie, I would have just thought this was with it. <laughs> This, this is it. Yeah, this is this is your Mario movie, man. This is my Mario movie. Okay. The Gritty Koopa King has destroyed six worlds and it's coming after the Mushroom Kingdom. Everywhere that Lava Dripping Palace went, chaos and destruction occurred. The worst of all, Bowser had been stealing the Kingdom Stars and using them for his own benefit. Not only did Mario have to rescue his brother from the clutches of a powerful enemy, he also had to recover part of powerful artifacts that basically that basically fuel entire nations. Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Mario looked down at his barely touched bowl and set it down with a sigh. Peach gently put a hand on his shoulder. We'll get him back, Mario. I am sure that you'll that you're this strong. Luigi is too. Wait. I'm sure that if you're this strong, Luigi is too. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Mario smiled. <laughs> Slightly so. Yeah, which is strong in his own way, he replied. Well, she said and stood up. We're gonna get him back. Heck, with him at our sides, we'll be able to, we'll be able to bring down that dreaded King Koopa and hopefully get our, get to show our wonderful world. Mario looked at the starry sky. You know what? Yeah, Luigi and I would love that. Peach giggled softly. I'm gonna turn in for the night. Toad's already snoring away, and we'll need our strength, she said. The princess stood up and walked towards the campsite. The fireflower field was the closest camp they could find, and it was somewhat soothing his thoughts. The way the flowers glowed slightly and danced with the wind was spellblind spellbinding. Not only that, they could also arm themselves with their fiery power. Mario gently touched the warm petals, drawing the fire towards himself. His clothes turned red and white. He could feel a surge of strength flow through him. Mario closed and opened his fists, causing a fireball to float in his pal in the palm of his hand. The plumber turned to Bowser's floating castle and float with a Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the plumber turned to Bowser's floating pallets with a determined dare. Wow, what are you, me reading? <laughs> Just like <laughs> messing up common know. English words. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Because it's my job. You can't take away my job. <laughs> sorry. Well that means you have to read better than me. Oh man! The pressure's on. <laughs> yeah, well, I open up the next chapter and it's like super califragilistic expialidocious or some shit. I'm like, I don't know how to fucking read this. <laughs> Luigi rolled onto his side, trying to get comfortable for the upteenth time. The guy he'd been sleeping on for the past few days had seems to only get more uncomfortable. However, there was nothing he could do about it. Suddenly, footsteps echoed through the dungeon halls. Luigi curiously looked up and saw the most bizarre thing he had seen yet. He was literally being held hostage by an eight-foot tall dragon turtle thing. A juvenile Koopa walked past the front of the cell. The bizarre part? They looked exactly like Bowser. <gasps> Bowser Jr., let's go! <laughs> oh, Bowser Jr. <laughs> the bizarre part? They looked exactly like Bowser. They had the same green spike shell, bright red hair and claws. There was a white bandana with a frightening mouth painted on it. Tiny stubs poked through the side of through the side on it of his head and also wore black metal armbands. Luigi blinked a few times. All the Koopas he'd seen were terrifying to some degree, but this one was anything but intimidating. In fact, Luigi found him rather cute. The child crossed his arms. You don't look like much, he said. Luigi raised an eyebrow, both offended and confused by the child's words. The little Koopa stepped forward and stuck his head between the bars. The captured plumber was uncomfortable. This what this is what animals at the zoo must be like. The Koopa stared at him with beady eyes. What can you even do? He asked. Luigi sat up. Um, hello? Uh, the Koopa jumped back. Ah! The, the, what? I thought you were sleeping! <laughs> Luigi stifled a laugh. <laughs> Here's the thing, little buddy. I didn't mean to scare you, he said. It had... It had been some time since Luigi had talked to someone. He had exchanged words with the Koopa Tass to bring him his meals, which was how he found out the kingdom he was in called is called Darkland. And all honestly, in all honesty, talking to this little one was helpful, even if he did sort of insult him. The Koopa growled slightly. 
Don't do it again. I'll tell my dad you scared me. He said, pointing a clawed finger at him. Luigi tilted his dead head. Your dad? <laughs> Who's your dad? Are you lost? No, I ain't lost, dummy. I live here. Duh. My dad is none other than the awesome, scary King Koopa. The child proudly puffed up his chest and smirked, showing off a singular fang. Luigi's face bleached. He stood up. So, so you're the Darkland Prince? He stammered. The Koopa Prince let out a boisterous laugh. Heck yeah, I am! He <laughs> exclaimed. <laughs> so you're cute. doing great, man. <laughs> Honestly, I love Bowser Jr. And all I want to do is pick him up and hold him with my arms like a baby. <laughs> I like the hey, little paintbrush that... thing he has going on with him and whatnot. I think that was in Super Mario Sunshine that they did the whole like painting thing with him. Mm -hmm. I think that was really cool. He's so cute. Yeah. Luigi wrung his hand, chucked he was talking to, Bow to Bowser's son. What did he want? Did he put him up to this? Bowser was really desperate for information on Mario, and if he was sending his own son to interrogate a prisoner. Luigi stepped back. And, uh, what can I help you with, your highness? He asked shakily. The young royal stepped forward again. Junior. My name is Bowser Junior. I don't like royal titles. Luigi flinched slightly. Right. Sorry, Junior. <laughs> Junior did it once over. You're easy to scare, huh? <laughs> well, I've been trapped. Well, I've been trapped in this mental for days now, so yes, Luigi thought. He was also technically speaking to royalty, which made things even worse. He said anything that Ju Junior found insulting. He knew that he would tell his dad. The plumber has been lucky to avoid him. His advisor, Kamek, did visit him a few times while he... But it was to search his cell and make sure he wasn't trying to escape. So Luigi better be weary with his words. The plumber rubbed the back of his neck. Am I? He asked. Junior's muzzle twitched. Yes. <laughs> well, I haven't had anyone to talk to in a while, Luigi replied. And it's your own fault you're in the dungeon, dude. <laughs> You've broken to my side of the castle. How long <laughs> is this? <laughs> well, no. <laughs> it's gonna keep going. I feel like we're reading like like one of those like really long ass chapters. <laughs> this is it'll be fine. It'll, we're almost done. Okay. With this Luigi's mind went a million miles an hour, so the reason Bowser was so angered with him is that he thought he was a threat to his son. No wonder he threw him in jail so quickly. If the king really wanted information about Mario about him, from him, he could have tortured him after all. Bowser had no qualms about world domination. Now putting away someone who could have been a potential threat to his child was a whole other thing. Luigi slowly got closer. I- I did that? Junior sniffed. You got hit in the head or something. Did you, you got hit in the head or something? Yeah, you did. He replied. Dad got real mad at the guard that the guards didn't stop you. I had no idea. Honest. I'd never heard of Bambino. Never. A what? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. I like what? Can imagine. All I could I like could imagine is Bowser Jr. standing there, like his head through the bars, right? And he's like, you know, his head's tilted down, looking at him, all confused, like, yeah. oh, being, oh, a what? I mean, I mean, this is how I feel when you use Spanish words. I'm like, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I don't know oh if I'm God. allowed to agree or, like, disagree with what you're saying, because I don't understand anything right now. Luigi paced around, guilt swelling in his stomach. All this time, he's been voicing how vile Bowser is and how quickly he was to imprison him. However, this wasn't about Mario. He had masked it that way, probably killing two birds with one stone, getting info from the person opposing him, and protecting his son. His feelings conflicted with one another. How could someone who's okay with invading ki kingdoms be a good father? So many questions. Junior interrupted his thoughts. You look like you're about to explode, he said. Luigi touched his face. You could feel all the blood rushing to his head. The plumber took a deep breath. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Junior raised an eyebrow. Wait, wasn't that your plan? To come in here and do surveillance on my dad? No. Who, who told you that? Junior scratched his head. I heard Kamek tell my dad that you, that was what you were doing, that you were helping your boss. Oh. Oh no. Luigi really needs to get out of here. That would explain why Bowser was using him as bait. He thought Mario would rush in and save 
Save his spy. Luigi kneeled down. That's not true, Junior. You see, I landed here on accident. Junior crossed his arms. Right. Wait, wait, I'm telling the truth. I'm not from around here and I can prove it, Luigi said. Junior looked at him with his beady eyes. The prince stepped forward and stood very close to his face. All right, I'll bite. Prove it. Luigi slightly pumped his fist. Yes! Okay, um, I come from a place called Brooklyn. I I work as a plumber with my brother. You know what a plumber is? I love how they put Brooklyn in quotes like it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, I, I work <laughs> Brooklyn's not real. That's like when your like your parents are like, right, so you went and hung out with your friend and they put quotes over friend. <laughs> The thing that you put Brooklyn, you're like, right, you come from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, this kid's crazy. <laughs> no. Exactly. Now, look at me. Do I look like I'm from here? No. The thing on your nose is weird. Even for me. I'm gonna ignore that, Luigi thought. <laughs> he grabbed into the bars, feeling his heart pound against his chest. If he plays his cards right... Junior could be his ally. The prince could prove to his father that he's not a threat and to respect a whole misunderstanding. In fact, if Luigi could talk to Bowser, maybe he could convince him to call off this plan. Finally, progress. The plumber opened his mouth to say something and suddenly, the room turned sideways. Fuck, man! Gosh. You're so good. Alright, chapter two. Throw on room- yeah, throw on room face up! I can read. I can do this. You could do it won't be as elegant as you did, but like, I'll just- <laughs> Alright. Okay, if you need to, a break or anything throughout your whole reading, let me know. Okay. There's a bunch of cutoffs, we can switch. Alrighty. I just hyperventilated, I'm good now. It's okay, you could do it. Alright. The ground beneath them rumbled as he violently- he, Oh shit, he was violently lifted off his feet. Junior screamed and fell to the side. Luigi yelped and cushioned his head with his hand. He was hanging onto the bar, roughly leaning to the side. His cell looked like he had, it had been. It, wait, <laughs> his fuck. His his cell looked like he had been turned, almost as if a massive hand had picked up the castle itself and turned it. Luigi grunted. Junior, Junior, you okay? Junior grunted. What was that? An earth-shattering roar echoed through the room as it once again violently moved. Luigi's grinned his teeth, alarms blaring in a distance. The, the plumber groaned. Grab the bars, he ordered. Thankfully, the young Koopa obeyed. Luigi moved so he can shield them. His free hand for- Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> Protectively? <laughs> Thank you. Protectively on his head. A few loose stones fell from the ceiling, but thankfully missed them. As soon as it came, the earthquake stopped. The world straightened. Luigi's ears were ringing. He opened an eye. What just happened, he asked. Junior glimmered with fear. That, that was my dad. And <laughs> I love your brother, Junior. It's so cute and nasally. <laughs> my daddy, my daddy. <laughs> it's perfect, man. I give every young child the grub of voice. <laughs> Another roar cut through the air. They ducked their heads, shielding them from the falling debris. A mix of hope, joy, and fear bubbled inside him. His, his brother came for him, but now he was having a showdown with a beast four or five times his size. Myra better have a trick up his sleeve. Luigi could not bear to see his brother hurt. He hoped Mario somehow brought help. It was much better than thinking his brother was fighting Bowser alone. Luigi stood on his feet, straining Junior in the process. The Koopa Prince had a look of great worry on his face. The imprisoned plumber felt like someone punched him in the stomach, focusing more on his brother, ignoring whom he had, who he was fighting. Junior must have been worried for his father as Luigi was for his brother. Right now, a little sympathy can go a long way. The man in the green browed his brow. Junior. I need you to let me out, he said. Junior jumped. What? No! Luigi uh, clenched the bars. I need to get out of here. This place is coming apart. Plus, I need to do something. So you want me to let you out so you can go beat up my dad? 
No, it's not like that. <laughs> Junior shook his head, glaring at him. Luigi looked at him with pleading eyes. I'm trying to help you, Junior. Not my brother, but please. Junior turned his back on him. Uh, arms crossed. Luigi frowned. He was unsure if the prince was old enough to understand what he was trying to do. One thing Luigi could do, if he was truly brave, was re Reperman. Fuck. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I just lost my place. How the fuck do you think? Reprimand. Reprimand? That's how you spell reprimand? Okay. English is weird. <laughs> Okay. Was was reprimand Bowser for bringing his son, who brings their children to an invasion. However, at the same time, he wants to commend him for not leaving him alone. Ugh. Damn that king and his complexity, and curse his evil swayed heart. He had only talked to Junior for a few minutes and was already protective of, of the Dark Prince. This is like that meme where it was like, I don't, I only met this like dog for like. Like an hour, but if anything happens I've only to had it, Bowser Junior for for ten minutes. But if anything happens to him, I'm gonna kill everyone in this room and then myself. Yeah, that, that's exactly it. Luigi just wanted to stop Bowser and and Mario's fighting for his and Junior's sake. But the force they were to fight with, the fortress would fall into lava and all of them inside. Moreover, the man's heart broke, seeing how worried the boy was. Luigi. To test the fact that violence was involved. The sound of metal creaking made him jump. Junior grabbed one of the bars and pulled at it, bending the metal at ease. Damn, this bitch is strong. He's like, what is he, like five? <laughs> made his bent metal like. He's five in my heart. Yeah. We just stared at him in shock. His jaw nearly hit the floor. If he was this strong at a young age, how strong is Bowser? Junior looked at him. He's coming or what? He asked. Luigi's expression quickly morphed from shock to gratitude. A small smile on his face. It's been quite a while since he has done so. He crawled through the small opening, feeling a bit like he could finally breathe without that cramped cell. Luigi cracked his back, sighing in satisfaction being able to move in a space bigger than ten feet in length. Junior grabbed onto his pant leg. How is me you will hurt my dad? He sniffed. If he's- okay. What? He's grabbing up. I could only imagine how itty bitty Bowser Jr. is here because he's grabbing on to his pant leg. I I'm guessing he, he comes up to the waist. Yeah, but that's still so itty bitty. Yeah, he's just a little guy. He's just a little baby. I I'm guessing he's like the same height as like a kindergartner. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, continue. <laughs> I'll do my best to stop them. Junior seemed unsure of his response, but nodded slightly and let go of his leg. Luigi awkwardly patted his head, feeling unworthy of, com of comforting him. After all, he's playing a small role in this situation. Luigi turned to on his heel, but stopped, looking over his shoulder. Get somewhere safe, okay? He said. The young prince hummed in agreement and ran into the opposite direction. Luigi adjusted his cap with shaking hands and headed towards the sound of the fighting. <laughs> in the throne room, a mighty battle roared. As minions raced to stabilize the floating fortress, the, the king slashed fists with Mario. Despite the plumber's much smaller stature, he for wait he for with <laughs> ferocity, throwing fireballs with fi with flawless accuracy. Bowser snarled and turned around. The flaming projectiles. Projectiles! God damn it! <laughs> Ricocheted off of his shell. The king inhaled and then released a torment of. <laughs> what? Are you you can you couldn't get projectiles, but you got ricochet. <laughs> Don't question me, all right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> I caught you off guard. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Mario furred his brow into the side, grimacing slightly at the, the searing heat. Mario countered with his own flames, running low to avoid Bowser's fire breath. 
and narrowly punching the king's face. However, he managed to set his hair ablaze. Bowser roared and shook his head, cursing at Mario. I'm just like... I know like, Mar like Mario games, they never curse or whatnot. It's all like PG with fantasy violence, but I don't know. I feel like it'd be funny that like his hair gets on fire and you just hear Bowser go like, Ah, fuck! <laughs> That's the only thing I can picture to make this moment funny. <laughs> the power-up- The powered-up hero did not respond, but instead focused on his attack. He wanted this battle over and done with. The suffocating heat of the throne room was getting to him, and Bowser's attacks were becoming more erotic. Wait. Yeah, yeah, this is erotic, okay. <laughs> erratic. Oh, erratic! Erratic, not erotic. I was like, no way that's what it says. <laughs> And I was like going with it, I'm like, yeah, sure, erotic. <laughs> erotic, yeah, that's it. Okay, a, f a, l <laughs> a real life clash <laughs> was much more arduous. arduous than the training course. Why did why did you why did they put all the big words in this one? Okay, you could do it. You gotta learn the big words eventually. Yeah. I gotta get to the fourth grade reading level, man. <laughs> Near the hovering throne, Peach was almost locked in combat, fighting the also. royal- What? Also locked in combat. So, <laughs> Also locked in combat, fighting the royal advisor, Kanik. A faint aura glowed around her, a clear sight that A clear sign that she was also using a power-up. Thanks to the super mushroom she consumed earlier, her strength was increased ex exponentially. The hollow burnt in her hands were nothing but in a blur as she used it to block the Magikoopa spells. Princess Peach rushed forward, missing him entirely as Kamek teleported behind her. With a quick wave of his wand, sharp crystals materialized and shot towards her. Peach rolled on the side, dodging them. Boom! <laughs> the com- the fuck, what is that? The combatants. Combatants yelled, tripping as the ground beneath them shook. Bowser growled, brows froed, and the eyes glistening in, glistening in rage. Kamek appeared beside him. They've grounded the palace! I don't care. Just don't let them get the power stars. <laughs> his royal ev ev fuck. advisor nodded and waved his wand. In a, flash of in a flash of circles and triangles, identical... Images of him appearing and rushing towards them. Mario and Peach stood side by side as the clones circled around them, waving their wands. One launched a fireball, narrowly avoiding Mario's leg. Another launched at the princess, their spears raised over their heads. Peach screamed and, and raised the halberd, n holding it as a shield. Metal cl clashed against their ears. The princess dropped the fragments of her weapon, crying out in pain. Peach, no! <laughs> oh my gosh, you fucking dead! <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Mario turned his, his back, seeing the opportunity. Bowser ran towards him and, and whipped his tail, slamming the plum slamming into the plumber's chest. Mario screamed as he flew across the arena and crashed into the wall, crumbling to the floor. The white color of his clothes formed back into blue. The clothes grab what? Oh shit! The the clones, <laughs> goddamn! The clones grabbed Peach and pushed her into a bubble, ignoring her kicks and screams. Bowser threw his head back. Waha! How nice of you to bring the princess to me. Make things so much easier. He he quipped. Came <laughs> cackled alongside him. Peach punched and kicked at the bubble, but to no avail. Bowser stopped towards Mario. And now, to take care of the pest, he, he snarled. The plumber slowly stood on his feet, wiping his mouth before raising his fists, eyes darkened at his cap. That means he's serious. If I learn anything for One Piece, when Luffy does that, that means shit about to go down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's the One Piece. <laughs> Everything. Everything leads back to. If there's only. If there's three things certain in this life, it is taxes, one piece, and death. Who had death last? <laughs> well, yeah, you're gonna die eventually. Yeah. Thanks. Just like Ace. 
Damn. I love him. <laughs> ah! Just like Punchy's mother. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> so... We're horrible. We're. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck, where was <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, raise his fist. Oh yeah, the cap thing, and I was like, oh, One Piece. The two stared at each other. Mario was unreadable with an unreadable expression, while Bowser had one of overconfidence. Then they ran towards each other. King Bowser lunged a fury of punches, and the but the plumber managed to dodge them. He blocked one of his fists, then jumped, propelling himself upwards and using the tyrant's face. Twisting in the air, Mario landed on his feet. He grabbed. King Koopa's tail. Bowser yelled, What the f- <laughs> Muscles screen against the strain. Mario starts, Oh, like they did in Mario 64, man! Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, damn it. I love this. <laughs> you got it? You got yeah, it. I got it. Mario starts spinning. He lifted the dragon turtle off his feet, revelating in a tight circle and quickly garnering speed. Bowser's screams echoed through the throne room and got even louder when Mario let go. He crashed into a statue, turning the chisel stone to rumble. Mario! The, the, the hero stumbled and turned around, his eyes wide with joy. Luigi stood over the unconscious Kamek, holding the broken halberd in front of him, one hand and the Kamek's wand in the other. His lips were quivering as he approached, as he approached. Yep, fuck. <laughs> and he appeared to be panting. He dropped the metal bar and threw Kamek's wand in the nearby lava. He just- oh shit, what was that? Don't worry about it, don't okay. worry about it. Was that your cat? No, that was me being stupid. I thought you put on one of those, like, I know Discord has the thing where you can do a soundboard. I thought you did the metal pipe drop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I'm not that tech savvy. <laughs> <laughs> Peach's bubble prison popped. The princess floated down, taking a moment to gather herself before trapping Luigi in a hug. The man in green looked slightly confused, but returned the affection anyway. Mario sprinted towards them, relief washing over him like a like a rouge wave. His brother rogue. escaped, but a rogue wave. <laughs> His brother escaped. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi was okay. Luigi's a traitor! No! That poor boy! <laughs> Mario crashed into them, laughing and crying at the same time. Luigi chuckled and tightly hugged his brother. The red plumber patted his head. Luigi, you made it! You got out! He explained. Luigi rubbed his neck sheepishly. I had a little help, he said. Mario laughed. It's good to see you again. Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Just, just shake it up a bit. Mario nodded. I don't blame you, bro. Luigi looked at the princess. Mind, uh, introducing me to your friend? Mario touched his forehead, mom momentarily forgetting that Luigi and Peach had never met. He, re he gestured to her. Uh, this is Princess Peach. Her kingdom was going to be t was going to be Bowser's last target, he explained. Luigi flinched slightly and hid behind Mario slightly. <laughs> the, the, the princess? <laughs> Peach frowned slightly at Luigi's reaction. The poor man had a negative experience meeting royalty. <laughs> well, at least all of them were bad as long as they knew. Wait. Anyway. <laughs> Nevertheless, Peach was determined to make him feel comfortable. The princess put a hand on Mario's shoulder. Let's finish this. I'm sure Luigi would like a hot meal and a soft bed, she said. Luigi nearly burst into tears. Yes, please, get me out of here, he pleaded. Mario smiled slightly, ready to leave this place. He cannot wait to see Luigi's reaction to seeing the Mushroom Kingdom. The cheerful nation was, um, was most certainly his brother's type of place. Furthermore, Luigi- oh, sorry. Furthermore, Mario would finally be able to sleep easily, knowing his brother was in a safe environment. Oh, we couldn't wait to show him Toe Town, or, or tour him through the- Mystical halls of Toastal's castle. Ah, uh, but alas, this cheerful train of thought was cut short. A nearby pile of rubble moved. The trio gasped like this, <gasps> and then 
He kneeled down and grabbed the broken halberd. Is am I even saying that right? I think the, I am. The hal hold up. Halberd? Yeah, halberd. That's okay. what it looks like. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but <laughs> we uh is it her, that spear thing that she used in the movie? I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. Ah, oh, that's right. Because, uh, I'm cultured. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Check your messages right quick. Oh, oh sh- really <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I gonna be worried? Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't know. I don't wanna... Uh... The trio gasped. Peach leaned down and grabbed the broken harbor. Larbid, whatever. Mario gently pushed Luigi back. Peach, do we have any powers for Luigi? He asked. Power what now? <laughs> Peach sucked into her battle suit's pocket and pulled out a blue flower. I got a nice flower left, she said. Luigi said, oh, why do I keep fucking this up? Mario sighed and rolled his shoulder. It'll do. He has no concept of power-ups. You're just gonna shove a foreign substance into his mouth. Exactly. You're essentially drugging him. Yeah, this is this is fucked up, man. <laughs> Luigi looked at them. Having been captured for most of the adventure, he was incredibly lost. It would be a very long conversation for another time. He watched with a puzzled expression as his brother took out a red mushroom and promptly ate it. The slight, the slight scratches and bruises on him vanished. His eyes glowed in rejuvenated strength. Yeah. Yeah, I can read. The rumble moved again, this time more violently. Peach quickly put the flower in Luigi's grasp. Listen very carefully. The ice flower will let you shoot ice balls as long as you don't get hurt, she hurled, hurriedly explained. Luigi bit his lip. Do we really have to fight him? He asked. Wait, he's been unreasonable this whole time. I don't think we can end this peacefully, Luigi, said his brother. Would you look down at the ice flower? Feeling his power flow through him. His overalls turned a light green and his shirt turned blue. His breath con condensed wait, yeah, condensed in front of him, despite the room's heat. Palmer raised his hand and a and a ball of pure white snow materialized. He looked at his brother in amazement. Luigi patted his shoulder. Ready, bro? Not really. <laughs> he was shaky. He a look of Apprehension. A apprehension. It looked, showed in his eyes. Luigi did not want to fight him. Want to fight Bowser. Not only because of his fear of the king, but because of his promise. He did not think it mattered to bring that up, considering Mario and, Lu and Peach have already made up their minds. The warrior P Peach sighed, noticing his face. Mario, you and I will distract Bowser. Once we have a chance, Luigi can freeze him. Mario raised an eyebrow. You sure? He asked. Look at him. I think you battered him enough. Suddenly, Bowser stumbled into view, staggering like a drunk. Dark blood oozed from his nose, giving him an even more frightening dis disposition. There you go. Yeah, I can read! The, Koop the Koopa shook his head and groaned, looking around as if he was lost. Guess crashing into that statue really did a good number on him. Bowser groggily focused on the group, struggling to look angry. That, that all you got, he said, wiping his nose. Peach and Mario attacked simultaneously, baiting the already dazed, dazed beast. He threw punches without focus, hissing in outrage as he missed, or his opponent's dodge. Luigi increased, in, you know, inch closer, launching ice. He tried his best to aim at Bowser, which was somehow challenging at the account of all his thrashing. It took over behind it. He took cover over a fallen pillar, narrowly avoiding his tail. Luigi formed a snowball in his hands. This doesn't count as fighting. I'm technically stopping him from hurting himself more. He stumbled to himself. He gulped down his fear and took a deep breath. Before he lost his nerve, Luigi ran out of his hiding spot, ignoring his racing heart. The frightening yet brave man ventured into the left to avoid a fireball. Yelping before he threw a snowball, it hit Bowser in the face. <laughs> Luigi lifted his cap. <laughs> you really, you just got Luigi. <laughs> that was cringe. I'm sorry. 
The way the ice here screen as Bowser lunged at him, shouting, You! Luigi jumped to the side, just barely missing his claws. The range frenzied beast crashed somehow somewhere behind him. Mario appeared beside him and helped him to his feet. The older twin wait, they're twins? The older twin I, I didn't think they were twins. I thought they were just brothers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. The other twin gra grasped his shoulder. We'll clear you a shot, he said, then jumped back into the fight. Luigi summoned another frosty projectile, this time made of ice. He was undisturbed by the cold. In fact, it was rather memorizing. Oh, mesmerizing. And now that he was free, he can enjoy the more positive side of this place. So, let's finish this. He looked up at Soft Peach, had somehow climbed onto Bowser's shoulders, his head this way, and. and wait. I'm sh wait. <laughs> I'm climbed on. Somehow climbed on Bowser's shoulders, his head this way, and that by his. Okay. Mario led on. held on to one of his legs, feet planted. Since. since when was his brother so strong? Shoving the thought aside, Luigi focused the opportunity before him. He raised the ice ball and aimed. He. hoped. he hoped it all would. Fuck, oh, man, why am I fucking this up? You got it, you got it, you got it, just for you. Yeah, he hoped all it took to freeze Bowser was one, because honestly, he was probably pushed his bravery limits too far. Luigi grinned his teeth and threw an ice ball. Time slowed down. The icy sphere sailed through the air and shattered the second it hit Bowser's chest. The princess and hero jumped out of the way as frost and ice spread through his body. The trident opened his mouth to scream and curse their names but his rigid prison sealed him as he was sealed away in a block of ice. Exactly. So how does this become a romance? <laughs> it take you know how many- the word count is like 66,000. 66, that- jeez! I mean, I could- I could read that okay. <laughs> well... <laughs> no, Go this... off. I know, thank you. I just- I enjoy these things too much. I like to thank the Academy. <laughs> Mario wheezed, leaning on his knees. Peach laid on the ground, groaning. Luigi walked over to them, going a wide. A, what? Birth? Birth. Birth from a now frozen Bowser. The raging crimson eyes preserved. Luigi whispered something at him before rushing at them. He wrung his hands. Is everyone okay? He asked. Peach slowly sat up. We... we got him. That's all that matters, she answered. Mario straightened up, his brother wrapped an arm around him, a slight smile on his face. Now that the throne room face-off was over, Mario could have a concrete look at him. His mustache was... this... this heavy... Wait, what? You got it? It's- you start with dish? D dish Disleveled? Disheveled. Disheveled. Okay, disheveled slightly. His- his clothes were covered in a layer of dust and dirt. Dark bags- Yeah, dark bags gathered underneath his eyes. Thankfully, he didn't have any bruises or scratches. Looks like Bowser simply held him captive for the sake of lowering him in. Mario raised his fist. Luigi bumped it without hesitation. The two laughed, wiping away tears of relief. All that stress and anxiety from the separation lifted from their shoulders. The mushroom princess watched from a distance with a smile on her lips, rejoicing that the two were reunited. For mushroom! A shriveling voice ruined the moment. Toad ran through the entrance, screaming at the top of his lungs. His eyes were closed and his trusty frying pan raised high. Pew pew. <laughs> There's no guns in Mario. <laughs> <laughs> the mushroom man was trapped in an ice mid run. A shocking ex expression on his face. The frozen toad slid across the throne room and was stopped by it when it bumped into Kamek. Peach covered her mouth in shock and turned to Luigi. He has a petrified look in his face. He raised his hands. I am so. Oh, he shot him with ice because he got. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I like that. I am so sorry, he gasped. Mario slapped his shoulders, causing the power to fade away. Rule number one, watch your surroundings. It's dangerous to get trigger happy with these things, he said. He's gonna be okay, right? Peach walked over to Toad. It's okay, Luigi. Just like Bowser, we had to just thaw them out, he said. I'm sure he'll understand. We have every right to be on edge. Luigi's face bleached. A whimper slid from his lips. Peach pushed Toad away from the magic Koopa. Now, let's get out of here. I shall send word of for the royal guards, he said. Mario put his hand on his hip. What about the king lizard over there, he asked. Peach stifled a laugh. He shall be kept in the dungeon until his trial. Luigi crossed his arms. What of the Darkland army? We trapped them in the engine room. That's where Toad That's where Toad here was coming from. He was messing with the machinery. Luigi seemed to be to relax a bit. However, there was an underlying worry in his eyes. Mario made a mental note to ask that about that later. For now, he just wants to get out of this horrible heat. What is Bowser's obsession with lava? And how can he even live like this? With a shake of his head, he pushed through the... Um... I know that... <laughs> you got it? Something that Irrelevant! There we go. <laughs> Irrelevant thoughts aside. He put a hand on his brother's back. Let's get out of here, bro. I can <sighs> read. We got it through it. <laughs> Gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so good. I really like this so far. You and know, you, you were convinced hesitant. me. And you were hesitant. I'm you sorry. Know. No, but this is genuinely like, oof, I'm so excited. Uh, I can't believe you even put me on blast. You're like, I can't, like, you were so not into you were you weren't you were like not about it i'm sorry i mean like it's so strange i'm just like enjoy things <laughs> and you're gonna enjoy sit things. down and read this if you like it or not <laughs> yeah that's gonna be me next time i see you like next time we just chill out i'm just gonna force you to read a bunch of things you're gonna expand you're gonna expand your vocabulary and I'm... you're gonna realize you like things you never knew you liked yeah you know the, um, the Duolingo owl and whatnot, where they teach you a language and Duolingo? stuff? Duolingo? Duolingo. Yeah. Yeah, I need, I need kind of like that, but for just like knowing better English words. <laughs> and like uh, their meanings uh, and like... Like learning, like learning vocab and stuff? Yeah. I feel yeah. I do need that. Well, um... <laughs> yeah, no, I just, just 9 out of 10 so far. God. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I didn't know we were doing ratings, now. <laughs> no, no, I feel like, this, like anything could happen, because we're only on the first two chapters, so it could go downhill, it could go higher. That's why I'm leaving a little bit of room, you know? Mm-hmm. And, oh my gosh, hold up, let me double check. There are still, what, 20? There's still 20 chapters we haven't even touched. Yeah. To be fair, these chapters are long, man. All right, well, I guess the, the only thing left to do now is, I guess, spin the wheel to determine. Oh my god, the wheel! <laughs> the wheel! Yeah. All right. A lot of options. <laughs> we have too many options. Yeah. All right, now it's spinning. All right. So as long as it doesn't land on Baluigi, we'll read anything it says on here. Oh, so we can't read Baluigi again? We can't read the same thing again in, the, in a row, man. We got Spice it up. Alright. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Why are you scared? <laughs> no! No! Yes! Yes! I'm scared! Guess what we're reading? <laughs> More of this? <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. It Is really it Mihawk or the... Shanks? Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> we have to read them off a flat pad. Yeah. Uh, it depends what I find. I'll be snooping around. Maybe I'll look for all else. Spells will return to them. I love that what I mentioned is not Mihawk X Shank. I just heard like a glass shatter in the background. I think no, it was a piece of plastic. I swear. I thought you were just like like you broke it in my. 
Like you were so excited to read Mihawk X Shanks. <laughs> I was like, wow, she's a little passionate. <laughs> I'm a very passionate person. Well, well <laughs> if you oh, guys would like to check out the book, I have a link down below. This is fun. I, I... Wattpad is always an adventure. It is, it is. I, mean, I, hope, <laughs> I hope to join you again soon. Well, I hope so. You're picking. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm gonna find some of the most anus things. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because Please. this is what happened with Paul. Please, man. <laughs> Last time I had people pick out a book, like it was their choice. I that's why I have Scooby Doo X Reader and a fucking SpongeBob X Reader. <laughs> I can't oh. do it. You can't do it. No. Please don't that. recommend I'm something. Gonna, I'm gonna write a fic just to recommend it. It's this gonna is, be terrible. This is my original. Uh, this my is original. the random book that I random book that I just found. Uh, it was an A Sex Reader. Uh, it takes place in Alabas, so I think it's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, I hope you find something good. Uh, check check out the playlist of uh, all of our readings and whatnot. It's not just of Jolene. We have plenty of other guests that have uh, joined as well. That uh, have a uh, unique taste. <laughs> That's the way I can say it. <laughs> but, uh... Jolene, thank you for joining again. Oh, it's always a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Jolene. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.